What's going on, H <clears throat> What's going on, HPP fam? Welcome back to another episode. In this episode, we're gonna take this 2013 Challenger and twin turbo it. So, super exciting. You guys know this car. This is Johnny's car. Um, this is the one that not too long ago you guys seen a video where we um, had redynoed it after making. A few changes in going to a sheet metal intake manifold. Car made great power over 700 wheel. Uh, and he decided that wasn't enough. So here's a little short video of us ripping the supercharger off. Since then, we have ordered an ON3 turbo kit. Uh, we opted for the oilless GT30s. Uh, GT30, GT35s. So, here's the turbos. Well, here's the turbo. We got two of them. Um, and so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rocking and rolling on removing. The long tube headers, so we can go ahead and get started on putting all of this sexiness on the car. So, then we got our pair of wastegates, got a blow off valve, piping, intercooler, um, the manifolds, and the turbo downpipes are en route. They um, got coated black. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get started on getting the long tubes and the mid pipes removed. Probably get this front bumper removed in preparation for the intercooler. Uh, and uh, just get, get rocking and rolling, see where we end up. So stick with us, stay tuned. Alright guys, I didn't really film, but I've just been doing a lot of prep, you know what I mean? So I've got the front bumper off and the headers are all off. So now we can start moving forward with doing the intercooler, doing the piping, and just overall getting after the turbo kit. So unfortunately guys, I don't have a lot of video footage from the twin turbo kit. So I'm gonna throw some pictures in here while I talk about it a little bit. Um, the on three kit is pretty, pretty darn good. I was overall very impressed with it. Um, so to sum it up, you know, we put a set of five, seven, uh, manifolds onto the car and then the on three, uh, down pipes for the turbos, um, bolt right up to that. And, uh, everything went really smooth. I'm overall very impressed with the kit. Um, a hundred percent, very clean on the install. Um, the turbos fit well, clearancing as well. Um, the piping is pretty darn good. Um, I will say as far as the instructions go for the kit, they could use some work, but, um, someone that's got some experience doing some turbo stuff can put this kit on no problem. Um, but yeah, you guys will see here later in the video, we do get to dyno the car as well. It puts down some good power. Um, but yeah. Enjoy the rest of the video. Side note, Geo has the motor out. This one was a tough one to get out, but she's out. And that's because the motor is locked up because it's got a bunch of holes in it. So I <clears throat> couldn't get to the converter bolts. But uh, we're going to get this thing uh, back together enough to get it the hell out of the shop. <laughs> that's what... That's what's next on our list of things to do. We just slide this joker on over there, and then, uh, yeah, this, uh, she got to go outside. But, uh, we'll get our next project on the rent. But, we need to get that one to the machine shop. And shoot. We didn't even make it to the machine shop today, but we got engines to pick up, too. We are busy little beavers on this fine Monday morning. 
guys so let's wrap this tune up right now this morning we're gonna make one last tug see what kind of power she makes before i see it chopping down the block love it Come back the camera up just a little bit all right let's get it guys so our six-speed manual Camaro finished out 473 horsepower 448 foot-pounds of torque very nice so we'll go ahead and get this one on back to the customer Whew. diving right on into the next tune dump -ba -da -bum. the twin turbo scat um, Hi, Scat. It's SRT8. They didn't make Scats back in uh, 2013. <laughs> I'm a fool. Anyways, we got Johnny's 2013 Challenger that we twin turbo this weekend. Um, finally got the boost controller all wired up on it. So it is ready to make some power pulls. We still have a full fuel system we'll be doing to this car. But let's see uh, how far we can get and how many pounds of boost we can make on what we have in the car. Let's dive in.
not sure if I filmed it, you guys, but we had a beautiful 300 that was a V6 with a ripped supercharger. We ended up finding the problem. Customer's coming to pick up now. Ooh, that joke is clean. The PCM was not plugged all the way in, and that's what was causing the throttle body codes that he was having. The car would drive, but in limp mode, you could only get to 15 mile an hour, and I just found out he's been dealing with this issue for over a year. So we got it all wrapped up for him, and now he's taking it home. Ooh. All right, guys, it's Friday, and we are wrapping up a week. I know it seems short, but I just ain't been picking up the camera, but we've been rocking and rolling. We got motors laying around all over the place. To include, this one's about to come out. So our cam job that you've been seeing Geo work on, we're going to go ahead and pull the motor all the way out on this thing, take the pan off, and uh, just check everything over, um, make sure there's no debris anywhere in the system or trash. Because this one happened to have one of the worst lifter failures that we've seen. As far as the roller was completely gone and the lifter was, had been burying itself, like totally disintegrated the... Uh, the lobe on the camshaft and uh, and all that so because of that <clears throat> we're gonna take an extra step to make sure everything's copacetic in the meantime we also have this Hellcat in and it's getting one of those eFlex plus kits so I'm not gonna do a deep dive on this one I'll show you guys the final product but uh, I think we're gonna touch on the subject of these again here shortly um, just because I think at this point there's a misconception with them and then we've also been working on our C10 project a little bit um, got the holly all updated and uh, been working on the tune a little bit but we changed the steering wheel back to an, a different style um, the other one just with the adapter was just too far out um, that one looks a lot better fits nicely so change that out and we are working on doing some exciting stuff and I'll go ahead and let the cat out of the bag on a Friday we're gonna install a new fuel system we're gonna put it all in the bed here but we're gonna hide it put your guesses down in the comment section what we're gonna hide it in I don't know if I've talked about it or not but still working on that and then we'll start ordering parts it should be wrapped up with the estimate today um, we're also gonna change the water pump on this thing and it's in and we're also going to relocate the battery to the back too so that's exciting we've got brian's car diagnosed and we've got the truck diagnosed this one's probably going to take a motor she's making some not so happy notices and noises she's going to take new fan motors our 426 is done and ready to be picked up at the machine shop for our 300 so we'll be able to uh, get that stabbed in pretty soon and then our yellow car over here, well, it's been wrapped. I don't know the exact color and it may not be coming up. It's like an orangey yellow. Anyways, that one's going to need a radiator. It may, it may need something else. I'm pretty sure it's just a rad. We pressure tested it. Customer stated it was consuming coolant. But the motor doesn't smoke at all. And uh, we did find a coolant leak coming down the side of the radiator while we had it pressurized. But it was small enough that maybe he wouldn't notice it. So that's that one. And then uh, I don't know if I talked about it um, or not, but got some new toy. Want to introduce to you guys Silverback? It is 2017 Aprilia RSV4 that I just picked up. I still have JD, uh, but he got a new one. She's a bad mamma jamma. But uh, let's get back to the real work at hand. Let's see where we end up. And as you can see, our Hellcat is outside, all ready to go home. You guys have seen the E-Flex install, so you know it's the same on all Hemis. This one just happens to have a 6.2 with a supercharger. So. That one's going home. And Geo has got our motor back in our Chrysler. So we've already pulled it, tore it down um, to the point where we can clean everything to include the pan, get all the debris out of the motor, and put it back together. See, we got a new pan gasket on there. 
the new camshaft is in and now the motor with the new circle D torque converter is all back together so after the eclipse which I'm not sure when you guys are seeing this video but Texas is about to have an eclipse <clears throat> we'll get this thing back together and uh, take you along for the journey so guys that's gonna do it for this week's episode we have plenty in store for next week. We've got new radiator fans for Brian's. We've got a new radiator for the yellow car. We should get this one back together next week. We've got a 426 to go back into Caleb's. We got another, another, let me go over here, another 426 built. Boom, right here for our 300. And then we got our brawler right here for the twin turbo Corvette. So we got a lot of motors to install. A lot of work ahead of us so stay tuned like share subscribe we'll see you on the next video peace